Hello, and welcome to Public Counsel's video series on representing yourself in federal court. This is a short video on how to use the PACER system to look up a case filed in the Central District of California. This video assumes a few things. First, that you have a PACER account. If you don't have one, go to pacer.gov to open one. Second, that you have an open case. And third, that you know the case number. Let's start at the main PACER screen, which is at www.pacer.gov. That's .gov. The easiest way to use PACER is to find your court first, bookmark that page for future use, then use your case number to look up your case. The easiest way to find the list of courts is to use this link, Quick Links, then select Court Links, and this opens a page that lists all of the federal courts. We're looking for a U.S. District Court in California, the Central District, and it's listed here, California Central. And this takes us to the main home page for the PACER system for the Central District of California. This is the page we're going to want to bookmark using our browser's bookmarking tool because we'll return to this page each time we want to look up our case in the future. This link in the middle is the one we use to sign into the system. When we click on it, it will open a page where we enter our username and our password. We'll go ahead and do that now and then return after we've logged in to show you the first screen you come to after logging into the system. Okay, let's look at PACER itself. This is the first screen we come to after signing into the system. The first thing we do is we go up here to the top bar and we select Query. That brings us to the screen where we enter the case number. It goes right here. I'm using one as a sample. It's CV 8 colon 14 dash 0 0 0 1. But all I really need to put in here is 14 0 0 0 0 1. You don't even need to use the dash. And then I'm going to click this button here. Find this case. That brings us to this screen where we can see that there are several cases that have very, very similar case numbers. We won't go into what exactly all of these options are, but the main thing is we look over here on the right-hand side and we look for the parties that are involved in the case that we're interested in. So who are the plaintiffs and who are the defendants? So I'm interested in this case that has Physicians Health Source Incorporated as the plaintiff, so I look over here until I find it and then I click on the corresponding box on the left. And Pacer jumps down to the bottom of the screen to give me this option down here, which is to run query. I'll scroll up again and down again so that you can see that this is all just one screen. Up here I've checked the case that I'm interested in and then Pacer automatically jumped down and it gives me the option to run query, which I select down here. Now PACER gives me a few more options. It's identified the case that I'm interested in up here, but it asks me what I want to do. What type of query do I want to run? And I want to run a docket report so I can see all of the documents that have been filed in this case. So I select here. And then PACER opens up another screen and gives me a few more options. We don't change any of these options. We just go ahead and click Run Report. But I'll show you over here there is something you might be interested in. Over here you can select the format for your report. If you choose HTML, which is what we leave it selected as, PACER won't charge you to run the report. If you want a PDF version though, PACER will charge you and it will warn you before it charges you. So we just leave this screen as is so we're not charged and we just hit run report. And here we can see the docket report. We can think of this as being like a table of contents sheet for everything filed in our case. At the top, we have basic information, like the formal name of the case. We have the judges assigned to the case. Next, as we scroll down, we have all of the plaintiffs and defendants and all of their corresponding attorneys who are representing them. And then, as we keep going, we find the list of all of the documents filed in the case. They're by number over here. 
So if we want to view a document, we simply click on one of these numbers. We tend to right click because that way we can keep the docket sheet open in one window and then we can open up this document in another tab. And then Pacer warns me that it's going to charge me 20 cents to view this document. If that's okay, then I click view document. And now I can see the document itself. Importantly, once I've opened it to this point, I can download it as a PDF using our web browser options, and that way I won't have to pay to look at it again. And that's it for this video. If you need additional help, feel free to visit us at the Federal Pro Se Clinic. We offer free legal advice for people representing themselves in the Central District. We're in the Central District Courthouse located on Spring Street on the Main Street level in room G19. We're open on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9.30 to 12 noon and from 2 to 4 p.m. Please check the court's website before you visit us, though, to make sure we aren't closed for any holidays. Just Google Central District of California, then follow the links for People Without Lawyers. There are also two other clinics in the Central District, one in the Federal Building in Santa Ana and one in Riverside. They are also staffed by attorneys and offer free legal assistance for pro se litigants. More information about them is also on the court's website. Some final and important information for you. This video is for educational purposes only and is not to be construed as legal advice. For information and advice about your particular situation, please see an attorney. This video does not create an attorney-client relationship between the viewer and public counsel.